All right, let's settle in and do a little bit of Animal Crossing to wrap up the evening. Hello there, Mayor Will. And oh, yes! It's uh, Thursday. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Friday for me now. But for the sake of playing during the daytime when I stream at night, so everything's open, it is Thursday still. Um. I don't even know what time zone that is. I guess if it's 12 p.m. where you are, then... Hey, look, my fountain's here. My private fountain. It's all here. Also, hello, Mama Bear. How's it going? How's things? Oh, this is a lost possession. Okay. I have to find out who this belongs to right away. Otherwise, I'm going to have to pay... For a disposal fee. So we're doing this right now. I'm gonna find out who this belongs to. Right, right now. Right now. Well, well, if it isn't Will, Rerack, so what's up? Did you drop this? Um, nope, not mine. Better keep asking around. Okay. That is unfortunate. And what I find strange is Paula decided to move in, but move lives far away from everyone, but yet is in everyone's business. You're looking so you today, Will. So, uh, what's going on, Cannoli? Did you lose this? Sorry, that's not mine. Must belong to someone else, Canali. Things are busy, but good. Hope I'm well. Uh, yeah, doing okay. Just, I've had a busy week myself with work. Uh, but uh, this weekend's a long weekend, so I don't have to work Monday, so I've been looking forward to it. And I get to catch up with a friend this weekend. It's gonna be fun. So yeah, should be a good weekend. I've been playing Metroid, the Metroid Prime remake, and I'm up to Minish Cap with the Zelda games, which I'm enjoying Minish Cap. Oh, what did you want? I forgot to read. Glad I have some time to enjoy. Yeah. Public holidays where I live, they're, they're, uh, they're strange, because we'll have them pretty often, but then I think the last one we have, and it's a, it's a really dumb one, it's uh, the Queen's birthday, but not really the Queen's birthday. It's called the Queen's... I don't know why. It's, so it's a holiday called the Queen's birthday, and in... It's not even consistent in the sense that, like, everywhere in Australia does it on the same day. It's... Different states do it on different days, and I, I have no idea why. And it's not even the Queen's birthday, no matter what. I'm sorry, could you dig out the time capsule you buried for me? After sending you to bury it, I just started to feel kind of silly. Okay, you remember the place where you buried it, right? This is a true test of our friendship. Which Queen? I... That's the thing, I don't... I, I would assume Elizabeth, because... Australia has, hasn't been around for that long, as a nation, so, like, I would imagine the monarchs we've seen, only one queen. Because before that, it would have been kings, and I don't think... I hate, you hate to break this to me, she's dead. Damn. Okay, listen. This is just coming from... Me growing up in Australia where, like, 
she isn't real. She wasn't really that influential anymore. So like, Australia's kind of a fifty-fifty thing now. Where I think it's even more. It's like the vast majority of Australians didn't really relate to why we had a queen or why you know technically the head of state. So, I don't know. It, it never made sense. You don't need it, to be honest. Yeah, I think the whole royalty thing is like, I don't know. In this day and age, I don't think it should be a thing. But that's like a whole national pride thing, and I'm not gonna say anything else on it. It's like, if you're all for it, I mean, more power to you, but yeah, I... For me living in Australia, I just, I never understood why. The national anthem just sounds weird. Yeah, they had to change the lyrics, didn't they? Oh, look at this wall. It's an elephant tea. I almost forgot that's what I put inside. Now, what's written in that note of mine? Remember keep being awesome, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise, and if anyone says your fashion is freaky, ignore them, they're just jealous. It's a little weird reading that all this time later, check it. Well, how about you take what was in the capsule as a gift, check it. It's an elephant tea. Thank you, well, I feel like the bonds of our friendship have just grown stronger. Yeah, I mean, Australia changed their national anthem to be, like, something original. I'm almost convinced that, like, within the next year they're gonna try and make Australia a republic. I mean, already, right, like, on our money, they've already acknowledged that they're not gonna... They're not gonna do a full transfer ship of our currency and instead are gonna put, like, influential Australian figures on, on the money instead. So, it's already the first step. Particularly, uh, I think they're gonna do Aboriginal leaders as well on the money, so get representation there. The, Demo the Democratic Republic of Australia. I think that's what it's gonna be referred to as technically. Like, that is technically what it is, but, uh, you know, everyone's just gonna call it Australia. We shorten everything. So, it's, why would we say that, ever? Okay, so if it's not Anacotti's, whose is it? But, you, you know, like, they tried to do it in the 90s, and the reason it failed, and this is kind of hysterical, is like, so they proposed that we were going to have a president, and then the system they were proposing, people were like, no, no, that just sounds like America, we don't want to be like America. And that's part of the reason it failed. So this time around, they're going to be extra sensitive of not, like, making it sound like we're trying to be like America. Isn't this perfect picnic weather? So how can I help? Uh, I'll drop something. I was a kid when, when they did that vote, so... But I did read about it later. Hmm, I can't recall ever seeing this before. All I know is that it's someone else's. Okay. Two else's left. I forgot. Did I check Frigo? I can't remember. Hi, making the most of today, sweetie. So what did you want, sweetie? Did you drop this? I don't think I asked you. I can't say I've seen that before, but it must belong to someone. Okay, uh, where's Static at? Have I talked to the monkey? Not yet. Um, Static and Flip are the only two that I haven't talked to yet. Oh, it's the con man. <laughs> Grand Poobah of the Democratic Republic of Australia has a good ring to it. Pretty funny. 
I think we need to, like, invent a word. Just a, a very Australian sounding word. I say our national anthem should just become, like, la uh, come from a land down under. That's kind of unofficially. It's just that. Oh boy, cousin. When was the last time you were here? Well, I'm rather pleased to see you back again. I'll tell you, this week's items are as rare as they come. I'm almost green with envy that I can't buy them all. But remember, we only sell one item per customer, so choose very carefully. Okay, I need to look this up because it's hard to do. Uh, New Leaf Art Guide. Okay, uh, New Leaf. Let's see. So we have a statue. You thought I was waltzing Matilda? No. Uh, I mean, officially it's Advanced Australia Fair, which is like, I don't know. <laughs> this is generic national anthem. Okay, this one is always genuine in New Leaf. There we go. I'll take this one. I'll take it. Okay. Oh, the mailbox will not get delivered. Yeah, the, the technicality of that. We're okay. I'll check my mailbox just in case. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like you should be able to run into red more often, but I think you, I think they fixed that in New Horizons. But here it's just, I don't know. I've seen them once before. Even in New Horizons, I haven't finished the museum. Oh. oh. I was going to the mailbox. Throw away the letter from Mom. Throw away the letter from Lucky, who's now gone. Okay. Wait, who is this? Serrano? Who's Serrano? Why are you moving in on my- on my land? Like, I- this- this was a designated area for me. Sir, you are- you are- you have your property too close. Or sir or madam. I'm just using the rules of Latin because it ends in O. They're moving too close to my house. I had all that space, I had a nice fountain. my front yard, how rude, I know. You know, it's a good thing I put that fountain there, because I, I, I can see it already that someone would have put their house there. So the, the fountain is acting as a buffer right now. If I didn't do that, I, I can totally see someone t putting their house directly in front of mine. So this is my buffer, like, no one can make a house here. I guess I'll pick that up and sell it. No, you know what? I'm going to plant... <laughs> no, because then one of the other villages might fall into it. 
See, I was just thinking, don't you think, oh, yes, would be a thousand million times bigger with a modern bridge? For sure, right? I'll tell Isabel so you two can make my latest dream come true. What? Anacotti. That's, that's a heck of a request. You know how much it costs to build a bridge? Let alone the permits, the planning, everything that is involved in construction of a bridge? Are you going to donate to the bridge? Oh, what? No? You're not? I'm getting some pretty flowers. I got those from the, uh, the Taurus. I went out and brought some back. And I put them around the fountain, because I thought they would look nice. Build a bridge and make them pay for it. <laughs> I'll tax them. I am the mayor. I should be able to just... Tax. Just a tax. She's sure I can handle it. Like, with batting her eyelashes as she says that. <laughs> Listen, Anaconda almost got into a fist fight. I wouldn't believe for a sec that, like, the batting of the eyelashes was genuine. Anaconda was ready to rumble. All the fossils? I have three, so there should be one more somewhere. I also need to find out. They're probably in the museum. If I can't find them, sometimes they're shopping. I'll check the stores. I probably walked past this. This fossil spot like a dozen times already. Where is fossil? that it might be hidden behind a tree. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> sort of camouflaged. Okay. Now I can go donate. Dear, pardon me. Blah, 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 blah. You say the same thing every time. Whoops. I miss uh, New Horizons blathers. I had something unique to say. Every time you donated as well. Let me 
make a donation. Two duplicates again. Okay. I thought I would have completed a dinosaur there, but I guess not. Okay, let me just walk through here, because sometimes they are hanging out at the museum or the aquarium. Oh, look at my- look at my art gallery. <laughs> That's it. That's my art gallery. There's only one painting. I was hoping to, uh... There's a complete one. I mean, this is obviously going better. Hey chat, why was the dinosaur exhibit closed? Because it lost its head! <laughs> I don't know. wasn't even a good joke, I just- I knew it was horrible, so I said it. Just had to have my head in the game, you know? I wish they wouldn't visit the museum, I, I mean, I get why, <laughs> but if you're trying to look for a specific villager, you have to walk through the whole thing. And it's only because, yeah, if I don't find the person or villager I guess this belongs to, I have to pay a disposal fee. It's a life lesson. That's what you get for picking up stuff. Oh, see? See? G'day, fancy meeting you here, bud. Count. Uh, what you need? Did you drop this? Not even close. I've never owned anything like this. It can't be mine. Here's what you do, bro. Jog over town looking for the rightful owner. Get those knees up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, buddy. This is this is why I'm here, is because if I can't find someone, they're going to be in here. The aquarium was always cool. I guess I'll just leave static.
I don't know, just, just, just testing. I mean, I didn't check at retail, so, but let's just check here. Welcome, welcome, come in. I have to keep buying stuff from them. I have to st stimulate the local economy, otherwise they will never grow their store. I, I must do everything. Hello, welcome to the handmade fashion palace of the one and only Able Sisters. Welcome, well, as you can see, I'm busy as always, since my oldest, oh, younger sister, Label, has come home after living far away for so long. Well, it just made sense to expand the shop a little bit, but that means I've got to work even harder than before. You've got that right, sis. Now that Label is home with us, we started carrying more types of clothing and accessories as well. Label spent some time working under a pretty famous fashion designer named Gracie. During that time, Gracie gave her the professional name of LaBelle. Well, Label? LaBelle? I mean, I guess if... Like, there's two L's. It's that dream to make LaBelle brand famous around the world, starting right here. Oh, right, Mabel. Aren't you kind of embarrassed to talk on about that stuff in front of Will? But sis, what could possibly be embarrassing about it? Yes, as I was saying, Will, as the mayor of all years, we'd love for you to push the LaBelle brand as the symbol of our town. Um... Oh, there's a wig. <laughs> that grandma wig. I can put on a beard. Glasses. I'll say hi. We offer all products at very affordable prices. Oh, not even a hi. Thanks. Okay, no one was here. I'll go check, uh, retail. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm not gonna wake up unless I actually spend bells here. I will buy this air conditioner. Yeah. Be simply because, as an Australian, I should have that. You need to have one. Otherwise, uh, yeah, summer is, uh, not kind. So where's static, then, if not... Maybe at someone's house? Or on the beach, maybe? Check the beach. I feel like this happened last time where I knew it belonged to Static. And then I couldn't find.
Where is mouse? Or not a mouse, it's a squirrel. Oh wait, I haven't checked you either. They're probably here. I think I think I found it. No, okay, it's Blanche. Did you drop this Blanche? Please say yes. Cause then I don't have to look for static. Hey, this is my makeup bag. I'm so delighted to get it back. Ah, oh, good. My favorite nail polish is in there. I doubt I'll find carrot juice peach crisp again. So thanks for bringing it to me, Will. I'm so glad you made that delivery. So here, take... Take my deep blue tea and thanks. So, there's... I'd better be more careful with this from now on. So where does Blanche use the nail polish exactly? It wouldn't be on the wings. Where would Blanche use nail polish exactly? It's either, it's either like the talons or the, uh, the beak. Toesies? Yeah, okay. Wait, what col- hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, no, they're pink. I mean, okay, fair enough. Because the color was orange, I was like, wait a minute. What's the latest? You have an elephant tea, don't you? Yes, I do. I knew, you see, I've been looking everywhere for one of those. Can I buy it? Yes. Because you were so polite last time when I said no. And I don't want it, so there you go. Blanche was really, really polite about it. Just said, oh, okay, thank you for listening. And so I, I said next time Blanche asked for something, I would say yes. Oh, okay. Sure. Outdoor chair, okay. Well, that's good. I don't have to look for, uh, static. <laughs> it is, it is bad when you have to find one character and then they just seem to vanish off the face of the earth. I still don't know what static is, but that's fine. I don't need to know what static is. All right, let me go put away my stuff before another villager just wants to buy it. put it above here. Hey, yep. Uh, cool. <laughs> I'm too short to reach it. Not like that in real life. I can reach my air conditioner. Stop with the puns. Okay, uh, I do like the Luigi shot. I'm going to keep it.
Okay. We'll do some fruit picking. They want a bridge built, but... I mean, I guess I can build a bridge. Well, Anacardi wants a bridge built. Where's Anacardi's house? Anacardi's house is this one, isn't it? And that's Frigga's. Anacardi's over here. Does Anacardi want a bridge built here? Because she can't be bothered walking all the way to this bridge here. Is that what's happening? Wants to get to the middle of town, doesn't want to have to walk all the way to use this bridge. So she's like, you know what my dream is? I've always wanted a bridge. Sure it would be great if our mayor would build us a bridge. I don't know, maybe positioned to the west side of the town? Oh, I see what you're doing. Wow. That's like next level laziness. Hey, um, I've got something I want to run by you. You've noticed how I always say re-rack, right? Well, the other day Vesta told me it sounded weird and didn't fit my personality, so... What do you say, think I need a change re-rack? Yes, please. Oh, you think so? Okay, think of something new for me to say. What would be good? Um... I don't even know. I could just, just do, I like how I, I made one of them out, so it's just in pain. So I'm gonna do like another one, like... From now on, you're going to be, you're going to be sneezing. That's you. Is that right? Yep. That's you. Yeah, that's good. That sounds very me. This is gonna be my go-to phrase from now on. At you. <laughs> Great. I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on. Yeah, that works. No one will know. They'll pop it up and they... Wait, did... did that... villager just sneeze? How come my villagers don't sneeze? Excuse me, has it already been an hour? No. How long has it been? Okay, it's only been 40 minutes. I was gonna say... Whenever I play this game, time just seems to just escape, and before I know it, it's already been an hour. I'm, I'm being careful, because I don't want to stay up too late. There's uh, a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow to make sure that stuff gets done, and then the long weekend is enjoyed, so... Since uh, next week I gotta have a few things already.
Also gotta go shopping for snacks. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have to pay $8 for a bag of potato chips. Oh man. I looked at the the supermarket catalog and it didn't mention potato chips, so... I mean, at that point, like, I may as well just learn how to make my own. Honestly. They're not that hard to make. Those better be some great chips. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are. But it's just this inflation thing, it's just so annoying. What they're doing is... More or less doubling the price of a lot of products and then whenever they're on special it's they're just selling them at whatever they used to be pre-inflation and it's kind of crappy and yeah potato chips are one of those ones where it's just six to eight dollars that's that's uh when they're not on special currently depending on the type But uh, yeah, my typical go-to is uh, these kettle cooked chips that, it's chili flavor, so it's just salt and hot chili, and then I think there's like jalapeno powder in it as well, so it's just, it's just a salty, spicy flavor, it's great. Everyone has their, uh, their different go-tos, so... But... I don't know. I, the chili one... I feel like, unless you're not into spicy stuff... You can't go wrong with it. Otherwise... The plan B is usually something cheese. Like some sort of cheese and something. They've been doing this flavor recently that's uh, been like... Australian cheddar and then they have these... I'm sure they don't use them, but that's what they're calling them. Uh, there's like these figs that grow in Australia in a desert climate. So... That's the flavor of them, so it's like this... It's hard to describe, but it's, it's a cheese and it has like this sort of semi-sweet taste to it as well. It's pretty good. And then another type, if I am going near um, an Asian grocery store, Where did I find durian trees? Uh, they were in the island tour thing. Yeah, uh, Koreans have this, uh, like, honey butter flavored potato chips, and they are pretty legit. So I'll get them if I see them. It might sound a little strange, but if you see them, I recommend them. They're pretty good. Honey butter? Mm. Oh yeah, no, it, it is good. I was surprised, pleasantly surprised when I tried them. Thank <laughs> you. 
And now I'm down to one at a time, because... Inventory space, I don't know. I, I wish this game had auto stack. In Australia, we tend to do a lot of uh, limited edition potato chips. Flavors that aren't around for long. And for some reason, there's always a habit of doing ones that, I guess, uh, flavored around barbecue. So, like, it'll be, like, ribs or wings or something like that, and... I don't know. It, it just never tastes like what they're describing. With the exception of, I think they did one that was, like, um... Buffalo wings, but I guess that was- it tasted more like the buffalo sauce than the actual wings, so... That one was probably the closest, but otherwise, it, it's just... I don't like getting those flavors. It's not that they're bad, it's just they don't represent what they actually are. Hey. going. I'm just thinking. Now that I've done the fruit picking, I suppose I should get this bridge built, or at the very least set up where it's gonna go. Or maybe it's just gonna upgrade the- I guess I'm assuming a bridge will be built, but maybe it's gonna upgrade the existing bridge. Let's see. <laughs> it didn't wake her up. She's still asleep. Damn, Isabel, you have a a late night. It's 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 one p.m. I mean, in in the world we live in here, it is one thirty. Have a, have a light night. I can't equip the net here. I was gonna whack the net, no. Uh, hi. Ah! Hey, it will. It's not what it looks like. Uh, okay, it's exactly what it looks like. But I was dreaming about work, I promise. Oh, that reminds me, we had a visitor earlier who suggested a new public works project. She wants us to put a dream suite on Main Street where you can take naps with vivid dreams. Cool, huh? She needs support from the town before it opens, so this is where you we'd be a big help. I'll go ahead and add it to the list of public dream suite? What's a dream suite? Okay, so yeah, I guess this game has way more stuff. A dream suite? Oh, Mayo, I just remembered. The townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony completing the founding project. And considering you're the one who made it all possible, we want you to attend. What do you say? Yeah, sure. I was really hoping you'd say that. Because I kind of already finished the preparations. 
<laughs> All right, then let's head to the site of the ceremony, shall we? Oh. Cutscene. He hello, everyone. Welcome to the grand completion ceremony for... Oh, yes! Vital Fountain Project. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. I'm Isabel, and I'll be your host today. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. We're going to keep this short and sweet, so let's just jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our very own Mayor. Take it away, Mayor Will. We did it. That's what I picked. We did it. Well said, Mayor. You have quite a way with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody, please locate that item we passed out earlier and get ready. And now... To celebrate the completion of this public works project. Hang on, let's just, just in case uh, I need to do something. And all the hard work that you make possible. Ready, set, pop. Oh, it's automatic. And that concludes our ceremony. Thanks everyone for all your hard work and for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. So sweet, I've heard that some people call you bro. I think it's pretty great. Can I call you that too? It's so perfect for you. Of course. Really? It's okay, then from now on you'll be bro to me too. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, oh, no! Death perception! Okay, I already had it. I thought I didn't have it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I gotta make the bridge. Hang on. Okay. Hi, Mayor Will. Is there something I can help you with? Public works projects. Start a new project. Here are the current requests. Reset center? A dream suite. Cobblestone bridge. Modern bridge. Anacardia one not a modern bridge, right? A fence? <laughs> Fire hydrant, custom design, do not enter sign. Modern bridge, okay. Let's go find a place to build. Okay, mate, well, please leave the spot where you'd like the modern bridge. Um. Now, this isn't to appease Anakati, this is purely because it does make sense to do so. In the interest of, uh, like... Yeah. What do you think? Well, let's see. Yeah, so I think this would be perfect. Probably looks something like this one's all finished. What do you think? This is the spot? Yes. Understood. Well, let's go ahead and start the preparations. All set. To help us gather donations to fund the modern bridge is our helpful gyroid, Lloyd. It will be hard to wait for all the donations we'll need to complete the modern bridge here. By the way, including this new one, we have a total of three bridges in any- We can have a total of three bridges in any town at one time. As such, if you want to build a new bridge after that, you'll have to demolish an existing bridge first. Hold well on, I'm going to make my way back to Town Hall. Ah, uh, there's no need for you to go back with me, Mayor. I'll just be taking my leave now. Okay, well. That's a lot.
Okay, uh, we need to find today's money. Money rock. Probably the easiest way to do it. Okay. And now I guess now I just go hit every other stone and Wait for it to crack open. Why couldn't that villager build a house here where Lucky's house used to be? I miss Lucky. But I have the working theory that Lucky was the one that almost got into the fist fight with Anacardi. And that's why Lucky moved. Anacardi is a bully. Well, it wasn't that. I think there was a misunderstanding, and I think Lucky was technically incorrect. But Anacardi took it personally. And so wanted the fight. Wanted an apology. Lucky didn't apologize, so... That was... that was it. Wait, where do I keep my precious stones? Out of there. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe... That's what I heard. Paula was just in everyone's business, just trying to sort it out. And I just heard the tail end of the conversation. But at that point, Lucky had already moved, so... Who can really say what happened? Little fishing. But I suppose that's what I get for not playing this for a week. I let I left them alone for a week and then I come back and just a fight had happened. But it wasn't my fault. Kirby had released and I wanted to play Kirby. Is that new? No. <laughs> Every time I see the word chub, I'm just reminded of the principal I had when I was in elementary school slash primary school. That banned the word chub because kids were repeating it. And she found it too annoying, so she banned the word.
She can do that? Well, she did, yeah. I was convinced that she was... She liked the idea of children, but in practice didn't really like children. It was like, you know, when children are behaved, it was all fine, but then... When kids were being kids, she just did so much stuff that was... Yeah. Instead of dealing with it or just ignoring it, just would outright ban stuff, so like... It's because there used to be a commercial um, on TV for a security company called Chubb Security, spelt with two Bs. And I don't even remember the commercial, that's the thing, but I, I just remember that they were talking about whether or not you have your Chubb, your Chubb Security or whatever. And so, us being little kids, like, I think, I think I was like six at the time, or seven. We find thing, certain things just funny, and we, you can't explain why, it's just kids being kids. So a bunch of us were just running around, you know, saying, Chabalam, Chabalam, Chabalam. And, uh, yeah, instead of just ignoring us or dealing with it. After about a week, she uh, held an assembly with the entire school in the morning and said uh, that the word chub was banned at the school. There were many assemblies like that where, cert where certain things she found annoying were banned. Oh, there's static. Not even He's being mean to each other, just saying a silly word. Exactly. This recycling system works out great, because sometimes the things you do, you don't want, are the things I do. I mean, another one was, uh, we used to play tag, and then... We had, uh... The concept of group tag, right? Where one person would start as it, and then every other person they tagged... Would, uh, you know, join the side of it. So the whole thing was, you just had to survive. Um the entire recess or lunch. So, you know, she banned that, and her reasoning... I, I, I'm i pretty convinced she banned it because we were being really loud. Because it was just a large group of people, large group of kids playing it, and, you know, everyone was being extremely loud for it. But her, her reasoning was that um, the concept of group tag was encouraging gang mentality. I wish I was making it up. But that, that, that was the reasoning that she gave at the assembly. It's recess. Better to be loud out there than in the classroom. Yeah, look, like... <laughs> I'm, con I'm convinced she really didn't like children. Just like the idea of children, if that makes sense. Like, if a child is well-behaved and doesn't really do things that is typical of a child, then she loves kids. But the moment they start acting like kids, no. Would rather just be like, nah, you're not allowed to do that. Instead of just letting kids be kids. That's the thing, like... Things got banned not because there was an incident, like, it wasn't like someone got into a fight and that's why it was banned. No, it was that she found it annoying, so she banned it. <laughs> what it was every time. I think the one exception was with Pokemon cards, but that was because, yeah, genuinely people did get into fights over, the, over that. So, that's probably the only one time where I will say, okay, fair enough. But still, like... I think the underlying reason, even though the Pokemon card one was valid because people were getting into fights, she still probably did it because she found it annoying. Most likely. Yeah, the only reason she became principal was because the previous principal retired and... I guess she was next in line. Um... I ran into one of my elementary school teachers, like, years later. I think I, I, like, I just finished high school. And, um, you know, she said that... <laughs> after... Because 
she became principal, I think, like, a couple of years before I left elementary school. And so this teacher was telling me that pretty much after my year level left, um, a lot of teachers just moved schools, resigned, like, pretty much within the next three years. Everyone that I knew as a teacher there was, was just gone because they just didn't like her. So, yeah. Sounds right, yeah. I still bring this up to this day, but like, I'll never forget the worst thing she did in my eyes. I, I still think about this from time to time, but I've told the story. I think when I was playing Animal Crossing last time, but I'll say it again for those that haven't been around, so. Uh, at one point, the school was going to upgrade all their computers. We didn't have many, right? But it was a small computer lab. And so they had all these uh, old Macintosh computers. They had, like, black and white screens, so. You know, you couldn't really get rid of them. I mean, sell them, because no one was really going to pay anything for them. They were old. They barely did anything, so, um, you know, a couple of parents kind of went to this principal, including, I think my dad went as well, but, um, they were asking, you know, if they could buy these computers or have them, right? And so, uh, her response was no. Which, you know, she has every right to do it. Fine. Like, maybe they were going to do something with them or whatever. So, the next week, we used to live across from the school. The next week on the way to school, uh, I see by the dumpsters that, um, they had put these computers out. And so, you know, I tell my dad, oh, they threw the computers out there at the dumpsters. So he goes and has a look, and he comes back and he's like, just, he looked sad, but it was more like, uh, just, of disbelief, but, uh, pretty much they had smashed the screens of the computers so no one could take them. So they were basically, yeah, broken. And put them all in the dumpsters. Instead of, uh, handing them out to kids. So, yeah, that's the kind of, uh, principle that lady was. And, you know, like, we did get a computer a few years, years later, but sometimes I can't help what it would have been like to have gotten into computers two years sooner than I did, you know? Especially given that first computer we got kind of formed, like... I guess it, it, it formed the foundation of me just being into technology and just kind of wanting... Always being curious about computers and games and all that stuff. And eventually, just leading to my job, right? Don't think it was a district call. I don't know. There's no way to know. It's just... At the end of the day, like, my memory is only as good as the last time I remembered this, but... You know. As a kid, stuff like that that happens to you, you don't forget it, and... It could be that there was, there was certainly some politics in the mix, like, maybe she had to say no for some reason, I don't know, but that's, that's what happened, and, yeah. That's, it doesn't matter what the, what the truth was, I guess, is, like, in the eye of a child, like, experiencing that, that's, that sticks with you. I just, I just remember asking why, like, just very confused, why would she break them? <laughs> oh, man. They should have taken them to the district office and disposed of them there. Yeah, I don't know.
But at any rate, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> tales from uh, Will's childhood. Uh, I know it's a it's a bit of a bummer of a story, so sorry if you don't like bummer stories. But yeah. If it was the rule, they should have let someone else get some use out of them. Yeah, you know, you know, the best way I can describe it is like... Maybe this was someone that was by the book entirely. And I know that a, that a lot of teachers at the, that school weren't by the book. Like, if they found that a, a particular kid had an interest or a talent in something, for example, and it wasn't part of the school cur curriculum, they would do their best to do something to foster that, right? Like, so they used to have after-school classes run by some of these teachers voluntarily to kind of introduce kids to music, art, um, computers even. Like, those computers that she smashed <laughs> were often used in after-school computer classes. Because it just wasn't in the curriculum back then. So I, I got the feeling that's why a lot of those teachers left. It was probably because she was very by the book. And every other teacher wasn't really about that. I'm gonna go to the museum. I need to donate that beesh. This happens every time. Every time I see the word chub, it just goes down the path of me telling that story. <laughs> I, need, I really need to stop it. Loach. This we gotta do some river fishing because I don't really do river fishing. See, that's really not that much. Compared to the ocean fish, I feel like you just make more money going to the ocean and fishing. But, yeah, I mean, I have to fish here to fill up the museum, so... Why am I getting a <laughs> Is it just because I don't fi fish here that often? I, I don't know.
I'll do one more round of fishing here. I know there's a big fish that I haven't caught here, so... <laughs> I've been plugging my headset directly into the DS. Ever since I started doing that, my fishing has uh, improved a lot. Since there's no audio delay. Yeah, it's ultimately just the sound thing, because I don't have the controller vibration to go off anymore. There are certain games where I do have to plug in the headset, instead of going off wireless. Any rhythm game, I definitely have to do that. Thanks for the round of applause. wanted to live close to the beach? Maybe. I mean, at least it's... I guess it's spread out everything nicely. It's probably my own fault as well, because I, I did put up a bunch of trees, so maybe I did uh, make it less options as to where this house could go. It is weird that they demolish the whole house and then someone builds a new one. It's that extreme of, oh, sorry, I'm moving away. I'm gonna tear down this house. I wouldn't want to live close to the beach. That might sound weird, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I live in Australia and, like, those areas tend to... I mean, you're probably going to run into dangerous spiders in those <laughs> areas. That's probably why. But, I mean... I'm sure it's, a, it's nice to have a beach close by. I wasn't that far away from a beach growing up, but... Like, living, say, I don't know, five to ten minutes, or even, like, on the beach side. I'm not sure. Oops. I don't know why I did that. 
that was just impatience. Now, next to a river, whilst the risk of spiders is still that, and I feel like a river to me seems more appealing than than a beach. I don't know why. Or a lake. I guess Australian lakes, they're all man-made, so I guess I don't know what a real lake is, but I've seen them in media. It's like, conceptually, a lake would be cool. It's too expensive to near, live near a beach. Yeah, there's always the tourist factor as well. But maybe it's because I just have easy access to beaches. And I'm kind of romanticizing stuff that I don't really have access to, which is like a river, at least the river that I'm thinking of. I have to be pretty far away. and A proper lake, not one of the ones that we have here. So that being said, seafood restaurants that are near the beach, man, they are something else. Higher quality. If you're getting fish and chips that are like right near a, a beach, it's typically just the catch will be what they cook. It's great. <laughs> So that is, that is a positive. No slingshot yet? No, I looked it up, I have to... I have to keep buying from the store. I have to keep buying from the store, and then eventually the store will upgrade, and then they'll start selling the, the slingshot. So that's where I have uh, failed. I, I need to stimulate the local economy. Which reminds me. I think it's it's more or less if I buy 10 items from them, uh, or 10,000 bells, then the upgrade will start. So, I think I'm close. Because I paid 1,600 for that couch, I'm going to go try and sell it for 2,000. <laughs> I'm going to flip the couch. Or I could just put it up for 1600 again and just make my money back, but I don't know. <laughs> no, you, uh, I was joking about this, um, the other day. But in Australia, uh, well, at least in my home state here, there are people that are using the Facebook Marketplace to s what they- this is what they do, they go to Kmart or, uh, something similar to Kmart. It's like a, 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 a standard retail store, right? Not really expensive stuff. Ikea, even. They'll go there, they'll purchase some furniture, and then they'll put it up on the Facebook Marketplace, and then they'll mark it up. They won't say where they bought it from, they'll just say, oh, you know, oh, we're selling this... this table. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's, it's brand. It's like it's it's quality. It's like it's good as new. It's it's you know we've kept it in good condition, and they'll sell it for like a markup. <laughs> so they're flipping Kmart furniture. This is what I'm doing here. I was like, I, I went to them. I purchased the patchwork sofa. They cost me sixteen hundred. I come to the Facebook Marketplace, and I'm like, yep, two thousand. <laughs> I don't think it'll sell. How much is this one up for? Oh, no, no, no. Change the price. 2,000. No, not 20. It's pretty funny. 
Okay. But yeah, I, I learned about this and I just I just found it so funny. Particularly because I used to work at Kmart, I just I kind of I kind of picture the kind of person that does that. Because there would be there would be certain people that would come back to Kmart and return products constantly. They never had receipts or anything. You know the type. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's, let's do a little bit of ocean fishing. But yeah, the only reason the Facebook Marketplace came up, I don't, I don't use any of the social media apps beyond the ones that I have to use to, you know, be a good streamer. <laughs> I don't use them personally. But the Facebook Marketplace came up because I've been looking at getting um, Game Boy games mainly because I got this little console thing that plays them and at a good quality, so... I've kind of been playing them in bed and just been trying to find some cheap. But, you know, the landscape of buying old games right now is basically... There are people that make careers of selling stuff on eBay and, yeah, it's just... They're kind of ruining it. Like, just speculative pricing, more or less. It's, a, it's, almost, it's almost on the line of scalping, but at least that is like, they've had to go to the effort to find these older games and, you know, buy them from people. But the pricing is basically like scalping pricing. So it's pretty hard to find, uh, like, things that are priced fairly. But I did manage to pick up a lot of the games that I had as a kid, so... I'm happy. But yeah, someone suggested the Facebook Marketplace, I'm like, eh, but then that involves using Facebook. And that's how we got into the whole game up thing. Uh, Still got a few to go. I'm definitely on my A game. <laughs> Those first bite casts usually get me.
Okay, thought it might move. Dude, <laughs> it's really testing my reflexes. That's... It, uh, that was... How many that have done the first bite thing? Quite a few, yeah. I haven't missed them, so... I thought it was just I miscounted. I thought that was four, but it was it was only three. It's okay, it's probably just the sea bass. I think these are worth more than... I would hope. Going by size, I don't know, we'll see. Doesn't matter too much. not memorize my fish market. Yeah, see, the, 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 the amount of money you make from the ocean is just, it's so much better than the river. I mean, it still varies, but I find that, on average, I make more when I fish in the ocean. Okay, well... I just looked at the time chat. I gotta, I gotta get going. I need to get some sleep. So I got a big day tomorrow. I gotta 
do a bunch of stuff for work. And then, yeah, prepare for the weekend. But I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope you did enjoy the stream tonight. I will return tomorrow and uh, we will continue The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap and also Metroid Prime. So, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, especially if you're new around here. In the meantime, if you would like to keep watching more of my streams, you can always find me on YouTube. Just search for the channel over there, it's the same name and everything. Uh, I believe at the moment the Stardew Valley VODs are being published on a pretty regular basis, and then... There's a bunch of other stuff. I've been getting on top of the, the VODs channel, so I took some time this week after work, um, and just made sure that like all everything was uploaded and had thumbnails and it, it took a while but it's all scheduled and it's gonna be releasing stuff on its own for the next few months so i'm happy about that but yeah i hope you do check that out but otherwise yeah thanks for i was gonna say thanks for enjoying the stream but maybe you didn't <laughs> thanks for stopping by that's what i was meant to say and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day I'm just a little tired, so... Rightfully so, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Alright everyone, take care. I'll hopefully see some of you tomorrow.